hi everyone today i made oven grilled chicken very flavorful and delicious so let me tell you how i made it so first of all i'm i've just finished washing my hands and i'm drying it because obviously i'm going to be working with chick raw chicken so i already washed the chicken with vinegar and water and i'm drying it so it is totally dry next thing i'm going to i'm doing is adding some sunflower oil uh so it will be easy for the spices to stick to my chicken next thing i'm going in with is some seasoned salts i'm just doing it by eye i think that's about a tablespoon next thing i'm going obviously it is chicken after all i'm putting some chicken stock cube powder so that goes in as well because we want this chicken to be very very flavorful we don't do bland chicken around here the next thing going in is some garlic powder so that goes into the chicken as well you know garlic makes everything taste nice and the next thing going in is uh cayenne pepper of course we want it to be a bit spicy i'm a spicy kind of girl so i love spicy chili cayenne yes i'm that girl so that's going in too the next thing going in is my badia complete seasoning which has all the herbs you know this chicken it has to taste amazing yes it has to taste amazing so that goes in and last but not least i'm putting in some smoked paprika you if you don't have smoke you can always use the sweet one but any anything works so while everything is in now i have my gloves on and i'm gonna be massaging this chicken and that's how it, it turned out after i finished massaging it so what i did i um you know cling film they covered it with um plastic wrap for two hours and this is two hours later so i have my dish there which is you know uh, going to be going into the oven so i am going to be cooking this chicken for about 40 to 45 minutes i'm going to be bringing it out uh 15 minutes uh after i put it in and then i am going to be basting it so just watch and let's see where we're going with this. So that's it after I, you know, arrange it. And um, why I like this chicken as well, it is boneless. There's no bones in it. So this is 15 minutes later after it's been in the oven. So as you can see, I am using a baster to drop the juices and put it all over the chicken because we don't want it dry at all. And then after that is done, I'm going to be putting it back into the oven so it can cook for more minutes. It is nice and brown like you see there. That's how I like my chicken. And next, the next thing I am doing is using a spoon to put the juices on top of the chicken so it's not dry. But because I don't want it to sit in the juices and get soggy and oily, so I'm transferring it to another oven dish. And that's what we have. That is what we have. That looks amazing. And now I have some spring onion, which I chopped up. This is the green part because we want it to pop. So that goes on top of the chicken to make it look, you know, lovely and appetizing. And that's what the next thing that I'm putting on is some fresh thyme leaves which i you know chopped up so that goes in as well for garnish and you know and the last but not least i have some lemon cut sliced lemon which i slice into some pieces and that goes in as well so that's it guys how easy was that and that looks so amazing it looks like something you can get in a restaurant so now let's do a taste test yes you know i always like to taste for you guys so let's take one of it out it's still nice and steamy hot 
So we're going to be tasting this chicken. And what I have there in my hand is a slice of lemon, which I'm going to squeeze on top of the chicken. Mmm, yummy. Wow. I know you guys want some. This is so tempting, I'm sure. So let's give it a taste. First of all, I'm going to show you that it's cooked, which is very important for chicken. It has to be cooked through. The last thing you want to do is have salmonella. And as you can see, it's white. It's not pink. So our chicken is cooked. So let's taste this chicken. Let me taste it. Mmm. You know, when I close my eyes like that, that means it's too good for words. This was delicious. Amazing. Please go try it out in your kitchen. Thanks for watching.